Hey y'all, hey, Amanda here, and today I'm going to share with you guys my sticker storage. Someone asked me in the comments of the video if I could share it, and I was hesitant because I'm really not in love with the way I'm storing things right now, but I figured when I change it, I can share it in another video, so might as well just share how I'm doing it now. So I have all of my planner stuff in this little bin right here that I got in um, the section of Target that has all like the... Nate Burkus accessories, I think that's what they are, and stuff for um, crafting. So that is what I have everything in. And then I have the stickers organized in these four um, dollar spot little expanding folders. So I'm going to take them out for a minute. We'll go through them in a second. On the bottom of this uh, little tray, I have all of this stuff. And then on the side I have like scissors, pens, random crap. So on the bottom I keep my Libby & Co. stickers just because they're tall and don't really have anywhere else to put them at the moment. I'm thinking I'm going to get a binder with some of those clear sheets and put those in there but haven't decided just yet what to do with them. Then on top of that I have my Erin Condren stickers. So I have all of my work stickers that I made and then I have these stickers that were in the back of the book last uh, in the last planner so I have those on top of that I have some of my pip stick stickers uh, some of them I've filed away into my little accordion folders if I know exactly what I want to do with them but the things I don't have a hundred percent certainty on I still have in here and then on top of that, I have uh, my Erin Condren sticker book. And then on top of that, I have these Stars and Smiley Face stickers that my Aunt Heather recently gave to me. So, I have things organized a very particular way in my accordion folders. So, let's go through the one that I peek into the least, I guess. Um, and we'll start there. Well, I don't peek in here the least. I just, most of the things in here I don't use often, except for, like, a few things. I have some stuff from, like, the Dollar Tree and, like, some stuff from Rosie Rye Accessories. But besides that, like, the rest of it I don't grab for often. So, that is in the teal and green striped one. And I just have things sort of randomly organized. So, like, thought bubble sticker things from the Dollar Tree back there. Then I have this uh, stuff from Joanne Fabric from Studio 112. This actually goes in a different one, so I don't know why it's chilling in there. And then all of these stickers that are just plain white. And then all of the crafting paper type of stickers that I have. All of the black or chalkboard stickers. And then anything that's like a rainbow assortment sheet um, is in here. And then I have these few things that are similar in that they're like just colored shapes. But um, actually I'm going to move these somewhere else because I really don't come in this folder very often. So I'm going to put these in one of the ones where I do go in often. But these are some boxes from Rosie by Accessories and some random speech bubbles. Um, I have no idea where they're from. I've had them for a really long time. So that is what is in this one. And then let's use this one because uh, this one's very specific. In this one I have everything organized by month. So that way if something has a particular color scheme that matches with one of the color schemes in the Erin Contra Life Planner by month, I store it in here and that makes it a lot easier for me to find things of a particular color since I'm well versed with the Erin Condren and color schemes. Or if I have something and maybe it doesn't match a color scheme but I know I want to use it in a certain week in a certain month, then I put it in here as well. So that is how this one's organized. And if I don't know when exactly I want to use it but it's like a kit like this, then I just stick it in the front before January. Then we have this, and ignore some of the labels because I don't necessarily use them all as the labels state. 
So this is like numbers and words and stuff. But that's exactly where I have these other ones chilling. So that's in here. And then I have stuff by season. So winter, like snowflakes and Valentine's stuff. Spring, like Easter things and flowers are in there. Summer, so I've got the new Alex Studio picnic stuff. Like some more flowers. The kitten plants, firefly stuff, camping things. Um, beach things, stuff like that, and then fall, and I don't actually have fall stickers yet, so I have like no fall stickers. And then random shapes, I think I'm going to put the speech bubbles in with the shapes. And so I've got my stars from Pip Sticks, random stars, smileys, stuff like that. Animals, which this should really just say owls because I have a thousand and one owl stickers. So. And then random things, so like these cute little people and little sayings, like literally a random sheet. Um, I've got some random uh, Japanese letters. What is that? Is it katakana? I have no idea. I said Japanese a million years ago and I don't remember anything. So just very random stuff. Anything food or drink related, I put in the food tab, and then events, so like I have wedding stickers in there right now, but like, um, if I had like anything that said anniversary, or like birthday specifically, uh, they'd probably go in there. And then I had a bunch of flags in back, but got a little too packed back there. And then my last file folder thing. I have right here, and actually I'm going to put these in here, so they make more sense there. So I have sports stuff, all my different TV stickers, mugs and coffee stuff, because I have a lot of that because I'm obsessed, anything makeup related, oh, and this is a good example. Any like random freebie, or if there's like one sticker left on a sheet that goes in a certain category, I save like these little plastic things that come with shipments or come with like the Target Dollar Spot stuff and I'll put them in one of these little plastic baggies in the section it goes in. So like here's another one. So I have like a finances section but like that covers a lot so like anything like bills, groceries, travel, savings, anything like gas, anything I spend money on I put that in the finance. I should probably just change that to anything I spend money on rather than finance. And then I have a blogging section, and I've got like um, uh, Instagram things, little filming stickers, YouTube play buttons, laptops, and I have phone stickers in here too just because I don't know where else to put phones. So I put them in there with like the other technology stuff. And then these cute stickers of Vintage Gypsy Road. I'm going to have posts, so anything to do with mail or packages, and once again, another random plastic baggie with an envelope. So, I'm going to have a washi section. So, all of my Planner Kate washi I keep in here, as well as any, like, washi samples I'm sent, like, in swaps. And then I really, really need to change the label of this next section. It says workout, but really anything health fitness related I put in here. So like scales, weights, pills, tissue boxes, anything health related I have in that section. So it should really just say health. And then I have cleaning section which is really like home chores, anything home chore related. So it's got like laundry and I have a lot of laundry stickers that I just do. Any like home cleaning stuff got my watering cans because I consider that like a home chore. And then in this next section I have like all my checklist dots, random colored shape label things, anything like that I have in this section. So I can just go in here and pull any color of the rainbow to denote something and then the uh, blank ones from last year and then I just put those rosy rye ones in here as well. And just anything like that, any random ones I've cut up and put in this little thing. And then in the back, it's kind of random again, but random functional. So like these labels to denote things. Um, this sticker, if sampler was just kind of large, so I wanted to put it back there of stuff. 
like weekend stickers. I've got these back there. So that is how I organize. I don't organize my shop. I've contemplated it, but I think that it would the, like the pockets would get really thick because I once I find a favorite shop, I want to buy like a bajillion things from from them. And I think it's easier to find what I'm looking for by function. And I keep it organized that way so that way when I'm thinking like a oh, I think I need more mug stickers. Let's be real. I'm not going to stop myself from buying them. I can look and be like, oh wait, nope, I've got them in this color. I don't need to buy them again. Let me use these first. So that's the kind of premise behind organizing it by function or event, season, whatever, instead of organizing them by shops. Because I can, I definitely forget sometimes what I have. So, especially like TV stickers, I always forget that I have like a gajillion TV stickers. And I'm like, oh, those are cute TVs. I think I should order those. When really, like, I've got all of these TV stickers still. I don't need to order more TV stickers. I think I'm set for a while. So, that's my thinking behind it. And I hope this was helpful to someone. Some of you, maybe, maybe not. Perhaps, perhaps not. Let me know down in the bottom bar for sure. And I, uh, I would love to know how you organize your stuff. Please let me know because I don't think this is incredibly efficient at the moment. I would love if it was more efficient because then it wouldn't take up all this space. Although I guess it, when I keep it in this little... Um, this little bin. It doesn't take up too much space. So yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if this is helpful. I definitely want to change things around and we'll do an updated video once that actually happens. So just give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Any comments or questions down below along, along with your storage suggestions. And uh, hit that subscribe button if you're interested in sticking around for a while. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.